Hi there, my darling dears. We are going to do a couple quick little review reminders for before you are solving equations test today. A um, couple things to just remember, make sure that you are doing scary armadillos, definitely make elephants pee. So we're going to start off with this first equation here. I'm going to have you write this one down on your paper. And what it'll do is it'll actually pause because it'll ask you for your answer here. So I'm going to have you write this one down. Please show all the work to solve it and then pick the answer that matches what you get. And then I will go over it with you. So for this first one, we're going to go ahead and drop a line down. We have x divided by 3 minus 5 is equal to 6. The minus 5 is farthest away from the x, and that's our armadillo. So we're going to go ahead and add 5 to both sides. When I do that, I'm going to be left with x divided by 3 is equal to 6 plus 5 is 11. So my next step is going to be to undo the divide by 3. So I'm going to go ahead times by 3 and do that on both sides. It'll cancel out my 3s, leaving me with x is equal to 33. So there's your first one that you have. Second one I'm going to ask you to write down is this one. So you have x minus 5 all divided by 3 is equal to 6. Write it down, drop a line down your equal sign, and go ahead and solve this one. Again, you'll pick the answer that matches yours. So for this, this is one of those junk in the trunk birthday present ones. We'll put the top in parentheses, which means we can't touch that until the end. So we have blah divided by 3. So we want to go ahead times by 3. We're going to do that on both sides here, leaving you with x minus 5 on the top is equal to 18. We have a minus 5 that's right here. So we want to go ahead and plus 5 on both sides. When I add 5 on both sides, that's going to leave me with x is equal to 23. So that one, your answer is 23. For the next example I have for you, it's right here. We have negative 2, parentheses, x plus 6, close up your parentheses, is equal to 19. Go ahead, write this one down, drop the line down your equal sign, and solve. So again, two different strategies that you can have here. Um, two options, I'm going to go ahead and just distribute. So I have negative 2x and negative 2 times a positive 6 is going to give me a negative 12 is equal to 19. I'm going to go ahead and add 12 to both sides because this is my armadillo right here. So to undo it, I add 12. That's going to leave me with negative 2x is equal to 31. My final step is to divide by negative 2. That'll leave me with x is equal to negative 15.5. So it's your matched answer that you should have for that one. And the last one that we'll do with just plain old solving equations, we have 2x plus 4 minus 4x is equal to 10. Go ahead, drop the line down your equation, your equal sign, and solve this one. So for this one, I would split it up. I have 2x, I have plus 4, and I have minus 4x. The 2x and the minus 4x will go together. 2 and then a minus 4 is going to give me negative 2x. But I also have that plus 4, which is still there, is equal to 10. This is my simplified equation. Here's my armadillo. So I have a plus 4, so it's a minus 4 to undo that on both sides. Negative 2x is equal to 10 minus 4 is 6. Negative 2 is times x, so I'm going to use division here on both sides. They have to matchy matchy divide by the same number, matchy matchy. So those cancel out, leaving me with x is equal to a negative 3. So on your quiz for today, you're going to have some equations that you're going to have to solve. You're going to have an answer bank for some of them. So you'll be able to check to make sure that it works out, kind of like you had these multiple choice answers here. And then you're also going to have a couple word problems. So just to practice for this, we're going to do some word problems together. So the first one, Mrs. Grabner got Wawa for dinner the other night. She got two mac and cheese kids meals. She also ordered herself a hoagie that cost $5.95. Mrs. Grabner's total cost was $15.93. How much was each kid's meal? So the kid's meals are the ones that we're not sure about, and I know that I got two of those. So that two is going to get my X. I also got the hoagie, and that was $5.95. So I'm going to add those two things together to get my total. So the 2X plus the 595 hoagie is equal to my total, which was $15.93. So 
Go ahead and solve this equation then to figure out how much was each kid's meal. So for this one to solve for your kids meals, we're going to go ahead and subtract the $5.95. So when I take my $15.93 and I subtract the $5.95, I get $9.98 is equal to, on this side, I'm left with the 2x. 2 times x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, which will leave me with a cost of $4.99 per kid's meal. On your last example before your quiz today, Mrs. Grabner went to the pumpkin patch over the weekend. I spent $3 per hayride ticket and then also spent $15 on apple cider. My bill was $33. How many hayride tickets did I buy? First thing you're going to do is identify which of these three numbers is going to get the X. So which one's going to get the X? That's our first question. Which one of these three numbers is going to be your equals number? And then finally, which one's just going to be our plain old number here? Take a minute. You want to go ahead and set up your equation to solve this, putting the number that goes with the x with that, adding or subtracting the plain old number, and then setting it equal to your equals number. And then go ahead and solve to figure out how many hayride tickets I bought. So the $3 per hayride ticket is going to get your x, so that's going to be 3x. And... The $15 on the apple cider gives us the total bill of equaling $33. So when I drop my line down my equal sign, I'm going to subtract 15 on both sides. That'll leave me with 3x is equal to 18. So dividing through by 3 on both sides to get x all by itself, I'm going to get x is equal to 6. Keep in mind, the question said how many hayride tickets did I buy? So x represents the number of tickets that I bought. So x is equal to 6 hayride tickets. So that's it for your quick review before your quiz today. Um, you're going to do both sides of your quiz. There's a front and there's a back. Like I said, the one side has a answer bank on it. So double check to make sure that your answer is up top there. Um, those answers are going to be the ones that you'll see for your choices. So please make sure that it's there. And then also you want to go ahead on the other side. You're going to solve just a couple of them just by yourself. And then you're also going to have a couple word problems similar to what we just did here. Um, for your quiz, anything that you actually just wrote down right now, you are welcome to use on your quiz. And there is a note from the sub for the substitute to know that as well. So please feel free to keep this out on your desk. Um, other than that, you should make sure that you are using your calculator. And I wish you the best of luck. Good luck. I look forward to seeing the work on your quizzes.